Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to build chatbot in Python in 15 minutes. But before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button down there and to give us some thumbs up and to check out our social media. everyone. As I mentioned a few seconds before, today we are going to build a chatbot in Python. It's going to be an intelligent chatbot. We will train it and we will talk with our chatbot as well. Let's start! Okay, so we'll start by installing dependencies. So let's open the console in your computer and let's start. We will need a chatterbot, which is a library to create chatbots in Python. And if you have a version bigger than 3.4, then feel free to install a selected by me chatterbot version. But if not, you can just install it with chatterbot without version. I'm doing that because there are some issues with higher version of Python and yeah. It might take a second and after that we will need to install one more dependency which is chatterbot corpus okay that one went quickly so let's open your favorite code editor and let's create the file called chatbot.py like for a python file of course, you can name your file differently, but that's what I did. So if you want to follow me, please do the same. And we will start our file from importing chatbot from chatterbot. And also we will need a list trainer from chatterbot trainers. And when it's ready, we are prepared to create and train our bot. So uh, let's start with instance of our chatbot class. Let's define my bot. And let's pass their arguments. The only one which is really required here is name. So let's call our bot PyBot and it represents the name of your bot. So you can call it, I don't know, Mark, Peter, Judy or just bot. The next option is read only true. So it means that we can disable a bot ability to learn after the training. So, for example, during actual conversation. If we will put that to false, then bot is able to learn. If we will put that to true, then it's disabled. And the last parameter we are going to pass here is logic adapters. And it's a list of adapters used to train our bot. Chatterbot provides several of them. And we will use those two like in the code you can see on the screen. So we will use mathematical evaluation. So our bot will be able to solve mathematical problems. And the second one will be best match. So our bot will be able to choose uh, the response from the provided ones. Okay, and right now we need to provide our bot some responses. Let's define a small talk and I already have some strings with responses, so I'll copy paste that. If you would like to use it, you can go to our blog. I will put you the link in the description so you can copy as well. Uh, 
Okay, after that, let's define math talk one. And here we will teach our bot the Pythagorean theorem. And as a math talk two, we will teach our bot law of cosinus. So we will have a smart bot. And those two you can also copy paste from the article on our blog. Now we can create and train our bot by creating an instance of list trainer and supplying it with the list of string. You can see here that I'm creating the instance of list trainer and I'm passing there my bot. And after that, I'm using a for loop to let our bot learn and communicate. Right now we are going to import Chatterbot Corpus Trainer, which will help us to train our bot. So let's go on the top to all our imports and then let's import chatterbot.trainers from Chatterbot Corpus Trainer. And when that's ready, we can run another lines of code. So let's create Corpus Trainer is Chatterbot Corpus Trainer my bot and below that let's call Corpus Trainer dot train Chatterbot Corpus English. Chatterbot offers uh, this functionality in several languages so you can specify it to any different one. And finally we can communicate with our bot so uh, let's start from like a very simple calling a few methods and few questions to our bot we are going to use print my bot so the name of our bot class and get response which is the mm, default method of charger botter to get a new response and as a parameter we are passing the answer so let's define a few of them Oops, I forgot about the parentheses, so let's fix. And let's try to run our bot. Let's go to the console and to run the Python file, we are using Python and name of the file. So our bot was learning and here you can see that it answered for our questions. 
cool but right now we would like to change it and we would like to be able to type some questions or some words to our bot and see if he or she or it can answer us so let's create a while loop and inside that let's create try bot input and we will mark here who is inputting so you and bot response so bot get response and bot input and let's print the result cool and now we also need the exception so accept keyboard interrupt Firmware and system exit and then we want to break our small dock with our bot okay uh, here yeah we have a small issue so my bot like is the name of our bot and let's try it out and have a small chat with our bot and let's run our Python final game let it learn and now we can talk to our bot and it even can answer. Pretty smart. Great, our bot works. I hope you liked it and maybe you will try to add some frontend for your bot with any of our Angular or React courses. I hope you liked the tutorial. Thank you. Thank you for watching and congratulations! You've just created your first Python chatbot or maybe not first. I hope you liked that video and if you would like to see more videos about Python, let us know in the comments and remember to leave a subscription if you didn't yet and to give us some thumbs up if you liked the video. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!